WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. It's Wednesday, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, 30 minutes to go until the opening bell. We got markets on the negative side right now. Dow futures negative by 65 points, trading at 28,869. S&P futures negative by 6, trading at 3,281. NASDAQ futures negative by 12 points, trading at 9,050. We got the 10-year yield negative on the session so far with a 1.7 handle, 1.785. We'll start things off. We're going to jump over to the VIX this morning. A little bit of negative market action. We have Bank of America earnings out this morning. We have Goldman shares trading a bit lower this morning. And Target guiding down. They are down almost 8% this morning. The VIX, 1268. Very little volatility priced into this market. We'll jump over to the charts. We'll start it off with the Dow. As you can see, a little bit of an escalation to the downside, just in, even in the last half hour. 28,856 right now in the March Dow contract. NASDAQ 100, we were up there for a high pre-market of 9,074, currently trading at 9,050. S&Ps were up as high as 32.88, currently trading at 32.80. Crude oil, a little bit of volatility. We get the EIA number an hour, excuse me, an hour and a half from right now, 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Tom and I will be on the air for that. Crew trading at 58.14. Gold catching a bit of a bid in the last hour as well. Gold trading at 15.56. We got the PPI this, num this morning. That may be driving some action in gold. And the euro US dollar trading at 111.50. In terms of what else you have happening across the market, I mentioned the PPI, so why don't we jump to that? U US producer prices barely rise in December. Producer price index for the final demand ticked up 0.1% last month after being unchanged in November. One of the biggest movers pre-market so far, Target shares plunging as holiday sales miss estimates on weakness in toys and electronics. So same store sales up just 1.4% during the holidays. That compared to 5.7% a year ago. Goldman shares with their earnings topping revenue expectations, but quarterly profit hit by a 1.1 billion with a B dollar legal bill. And Bank of America out with their earnings as well, beating analyst profit estimates on rebound on bond trading revenue, that fixed income trading for those banks, quite a number. There's Bank of America, looks to open a little bit lower, maybe 35 pennies, some volatility. And Goldman Sachs, close to 245, come on, looking to open 241 and target to the downside. 116 closed at 125. Stay tuned, folks. Larry Pesavento at 9. I'll be back at 10 o'clock with Tom. We'll be right back.